What's happening, y'all? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with another NASCAR Authentics Diecast review for Wave 12 of 2021, and it's a diecast you can get at your Targets and Walmarts, and uh, yeah, without further ado, this is actually, uh, you know, the Wave full exclusives, and this one is actually a very interesting exclusive. It is on Kyle Busch's 2021 M&M's Mini Toyota Camry for Joey's Racing. As you guys know, this paint scheme is quite, uh, you know, iconic for its, uh, you know, uh, Pocono win um, from 2021. I believe it's the only time I think Kyle Busch drove this car um but yeah it is a pretty familiar paint scheme that some people might know um from the year previously from 2020 but uh, there are some quite few differences differences that we'll probably be pointing out in a second when we get the sap tech comparison but we gotta take a look at this packaging which i must say nascar authentics even though they have a lot of quality control issues the packaging is absolutely phenomenal you got the nice little mini m and m's just pouring out that is uh, really cool and quite colorful and yeah guys i mean it's definitely die cast i recommend going ahead and picking up for a good first impression because as you guys know m&m's die casts are definitely going to be drying up in value since you know this is the final year we're getting some m&m's die cast um but definitely the final year for you know this type of generation of the car since you know we're in the gen 7 area now but anyways here's the back side and we got more m&m's and there's the rest of the wave if you guys want to see that and without further ado let's kick out this die cast review and the unboxing of the kyle bush 2021 m&m's minis car and alrighty guys, we got this diecast out of this box. But before they start on this diecast review, you guys know what we do with all the other diecast reviews from NASCAR Authentics. We gotta look at the little free, I can't stress this enough, trinket that you come with this. And by trinket, I mean just the cheaply made sticker. But it is still pretty cool. It's nice, bright, and beautiful. You got that nice little yellow background with the, uh, I mean, holy Christ, if you guys really want to play a game, can you count uh, individually how many M&M's minis are in this freaking, uh, in this uh, <laughs> sticker? I mean, my lord. But you see right there all the different kinds of colors you get. And we got three of the M&M's, which is pretty cool um i like how the chocolate logo was kind of covered up kind of overlapped but um yeah pretty cool do like that guys this car definitely brings back a lot of good memories in the childhood um especially with the eminem's minis i think that's probably the last time i ever had eminem's minis um but yeah um i must say guys i really do like this paint scheme it's very simple yet colorful and uh, sometimes that just kind of works you know a colorful simple paint scheme really does work uh one thing i'm not liking though is that we do got some uh, uh pretty noticeable quality control issue right here i mean look at that b post all righty look at that b post that thing is cracked holy christ that thing is literally cracked. I think that's what the Robestus logo, I think that's cut off or something. Or is that uh, or is that supposed to be the Michael Jordan logo or something? Whatever it is, definitely doesn't look good, guys. But you um, see all the other Mars sponsorships, which if you guys don't know, Mars is leaving at the end of this year, which means we're going to be losing all these other sponsors. Uh, Snickers, which is my favorite candy bar. Twix, Skittles. Um, so it kind of sucks because, man, we've had a lot of cool paint schemes. But the M&Ms are just, you know, so iconic. But you guys see right here, it is a nice looking car. Um, even though we got this weird background, uh, you see right there, I don't like how, um, I, I don't know if this is actually how it was in the actual car. I mean, I don't think so. I think it was just a white outline, but you see there's like a darker line, uh, darker yellow line where the, um, logo is and that looks really distracting and kind of makes this car look like it's the decal doesn't look too official. I mean, from far of a distance, you can't really tell, but up close, it's, uh, it's pretty noticeable. And, um, but yeah, that does kind of blow right there. Um, that's a quality issue that Lionel always seems to have an issue with with flying decals um, but luckily this is not on the PTC mold but you see right there even the M&Ms are even outlined in that uh, darker outline which just uh, I don't know I, I don't think we had this problem in the uh, 2020 variant which I'll be showcasing in a second now a lot of people are going to be thinking and even including myself you see right there more darker outlines so just I don't know it just makes the car look just uh, I don't know I mean it's a little nitpick in my opinion but just I don't know just like I said from far away you can't really tell but up close it just looks so bad because that is a different shade of yellow compared to what the actual um what the actual base of this car is and how can i forget there's also an energy drink sponsor as well so look at that rowdy energy uh, make sure to click the affiliate link to try out some of the newest flavors um they even got like a new rowdy energy uh, line that's called like a uh, power burn so how about that it's an energy drink that you can burn calories with that sounds pretty legit <laughs> but um yeah, um, but of course we do got, uh, I love the simplicity of this paint scheme, guys. He only drove this car at the uh, Pocono race. I think it was like the first or second race, um, which by the way, I got to admit, those two Pocono races were quite exciting, man. I mean, it's a shame we lost uh, one of those dates, um, but both of them had really good, exciting finishes with, you know, uh, Kyle Larson blowing the tire outs and Alex Bowman winning, and then uh, the other Pocono race where it came down to a few miles race, and Kyle Busch was running third at the time, and I think was uh, William Byron and his teammate Danny Hamlin were trying to stretch out some fuel. Both of them 
them unfortunately ran out when it came down like the last three laps and Kyle Busch was literally stuck in fourth gear on fumes trying to get this victory and it paid off guys because he was like eight seconds ahead of like second place which was Keselowski which I think Keselowski was driving that Freightliner car so yeah this was a pretty legit win from Kyle Busch man I, mean, I know a lot of people do not like Kyle Busch winning races but this was pretty cool that you know both of his uh, wins um weren't produced in the 164 scale um but you know we do got the base paint scheme so if you guys like this car and you already have um you know his m&ms mix car and all these other m &M's schemes from 2021 um this is definitely one i highly would recommend picking up but now we're probably going to go ahead and show you guys the side-by-side comparison because you guys are probably wondering okay this paint scheme looks pretty much exactly like the 2020 variants well sort of and no all right so right here i'm gonna show you guys the 2020 variant because uh, I was guilty uh, when I did my uh, wave reaction review on the live stream. I said, oh, this I'm not planning to get this because it's going to be the same car. But this is the main reason why I do the comparisons. Because you guys see right here, here's the 2020 variant. I mean, of course, you can see with the black interior and the window banner. Which, by the way, I do miss how I do miss the Cup Series logo on the window banners. I wish they brought that back, but they don't. Um, but you see right there the difference. Of course, you see right there, we do got ourselves a more updated and simpler, um, not really three-dimensional logo. It's more like 2D now, which looks pretty cool. I mean, I guess that's like the, the I guess it goes well with the simplicity uh, simplicity of the paint scheme. But you see what I mean with that darker outline, guys? I mean, I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not, but just I don't know, just doesn't really look right. I think on the actual run diecast runner I saw it is white, so that darker yellow outline just looks really distracting. Decal placement's a little bit better on the 2021 variants compared to this. See, it's all paint ship heaven. And this is a gold series car. And you can see what I mean about that darker outline, guys. And if you guys even notice as well, there is like a different shade of yellow. I mean, I tried doing a side-by-side -side comparison photo of this on the community page, and a lot of people didn't notice the yellow. But if you notice, the, the yellow is a lot more darker, like a dandelion yellow on the 2020 variants. And on the 2021 variant, it's more like, I don't know, like a bright yellow, like the M&M's scheme. So that's pretty cool. Um, but you see, pretty much identically the same. I mean, the M&Ms are even placed uh, pretty much I pretty much identically. So it seems like that didn't really change right there. But we do got. Um, uh, it looks like red is a little more darker on the uh, 2021 variant. But we do got also an updated uh, tube as well for the M&Ms minis. So I found that pretty cool. Um, I don't know. Part of me kind of likes the 2020 uh, variant a little bit more with the side. And on the back, we do got, you see right there, the yellow is very noticeably different. <laughs> and we got a blacker spoiler, which looks, I mean, pretty cool. But for a comment below what you, uh, what you guys think about that. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think the Eminem's Mini logo looks a little shrunken right here. I mean, it kind of goes well with the name. Is that a damn paint chip on the spoiler? Goodness gracious, Lionel. And this side is not the same as the other side because we do got some different, um, you know, Eminem's tubes. See, we got red right there and a little bit of Mrs. Green. But we got the derpy looking yellow m m and uh huh, the you know sassy green m m but I, that's pretty cool there's little differences that make this paint scheme do stand out but it is quite of a familiar paint scheme um to some to say the least i like how that red m m is just sticking out right there and here you can't really see it but like I said, if you guys did pick up the 2020 variants, you'll probably not see that much differences. But I would highly recommend picking up this uh, 2021 car just because this was never offered in the 164 scale, guys. It was never offered. That means it was never canceled or even, you know, on the pre-order list. I don't know why. I mean, I think they could have probably made this as the Pocono win because I think the Pocono win, I think that's coming out very soon. It does have like the confetti and the M&M's pieces and the wrappers of M&M's um, on the hood, which is pretty cool. Um, I like it when M&M's do, do, do that and Lionel actually provides that detail for us. So that's going to be a cool race one to get i i like i said i it's a cool paint scheme but i wish they probably could have made the race version i mean wave 12 definitely had a lot of great exclusives but there were some missed opportunities in this wave but um but yeah if that's uh most, mostly all i gotta say about this car guys feel free to comment below what do you guys think and which guys which car do you guys prefer or do you guys prefer both if you guys are the rowdiest fans out there but anyways um let's go wrap up the diecast review of kyle bush's 2021 eminence minis toyota camry for joe gibbs racing kind of like subscribe in this middle bb i'll see you guys next time on another fantastic nascar authentics diecast review